All right, ladies and gents, subscribers and non-subscribers. Today on Tuxtac TV, another hardware review. Wacom's Bamboo CL470. This is a product that I've used in the past. I use this to make the uh, logo on my webpage. So I will give you guys a quick demo on this on Tuxtac TV. Stay tuned. guys thank you for not leaving the video yeah today's video is about the um, Wacom tablet it's an awesome tool that I use I actually used it before um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and open up my paint real quick yeah and I'll just lock it to the panel I haven't been using it as much uh, that much lately but yeah right here in the settings whether you're under unity or you're using gnome or gnome shut up Wacom tablet this program right here has been defaulted under unity and gnome or any Ubuntu based distribution the interface looks exactly the same on all of the Ubuntu base distributions. I believe right now there's six distributions, um, including the uh, what's it called, Mate or Mate distribution that just recently got added to the uh, Ubuntu family. Anyway, they will be getting direct support on whatever software they support. And what I'm about to show you guys right here, okay, you so you could actually select the active support for the uh, monitor. What this does is um, you put this on letterbox. This will actually be off. You click that on and you tick that box. It looks like that when you initially open it. It's darkened. You tick that little box and it highlights and you turn that on. Close it what that does is with your pen you take the point touch it to the tablet like so <clears throat> right now this is my pen you touch it to the window and it grabs the window you'd lift it off the surface of the tablet and it's off and um, it's already pre-calibrated so there's like some little markers on the tablet let me see if I could pull up the image here of yeah I downloaded an image so that I could you know show you guys this these markers I'm referring to alright these markers right here on the tablet represent each corner of the screen so when you move the pen to hover the pen over one of each of these marks you will see the cursor appear in the corners okay and that will let you know that you have this device calibrated perfectly for your the job that you're about to do okay get this out the way and get that out of the way also back to the pen the pen gives you a lot more precision than the mouse. Let's say, well, I'm going to try my best to make a circle. This is with the pen, okay? Oh, got to select a brush first. This is with the pen. Or, you can keep going. That's with my pen my circle okay now this is with the mouse oh. Oh. 
and and trust me I am trying to <laughs> it, you feel retarded trying to get this done correctly but anyway you can see that the gradients in this is one gradient but when you use the pen it, it goes according to how lightly or hard you press so you can see the line is getting darker and darker that's me pressing harder and harder so you know it's 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 a nice it feels good like I'm actually drawn on a canvas so this works really well you could you know do very precise work very precise work erase I don't like this eraser right here this eraser sucks so I actually use this one let me show you how much it sucks I'm gonna switch to that now look at this oh. switch back to this use the eraser yeah when you use that eraser it functions like a no like a real eraser and it takes you forever to get that canvas clean but that's why I like to use this because it's instant I don't have to waste too much time with that eraser and switch back to that that's one color you could actually change the color I'll just switch it to a quick blue there it is in blue and doo doo brown I call that doo doo brown because uh, experiences changing my kids diapers yeah disgusting the feces look like that anyway <laughs> that's that I I don't have anything in mind that I could draw real quick I did draw a uh, image of a sword oh, let's switch my color back to that I did do like a, a picture of a sword or something and um, the sword is what I'm gonna use to represent my once I launch the website that I'm working on for the website I'm working on for my um, PC distribution or manufacturing but I'm just gonna do this real quick So then I can show you guys. You, know, you can use it to draw. It's awesome. I'm drawing in Linux, guys. Yeah, buddy. This is cool shit. Excuse my French people. I'm just excited about this type of stuff. Cause the only thing I have actually paid for to demonstrate everything I have to you guys is the hardware. I put a computer together. I have ah man. God knows how many versions of um Linux downloaded. Just doing a quick little handle. Yeah, I guess that'll work. Yeah. I don't know where I saw this design. I don't think I've ever. <coughs> yeah. Just a little quick something something for you guys to show you that it is possible to sketch and you could change your brushes here I wasn't actually gonna do a 
you know I have a huge selection of brushes here and I'm trying to find my brush that represents the finger there we go there's my finger brush right there and what I could do with that you see what it's doing is like soften that up a little bit ah I just noticed something okay join my shadows right here this peak right here is gonna be you know, exposed to light, so I have an understanding of, you know, shadows and stuff like that. Did take some classes when I was younger. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I guess I'm I'm kinda doing this too to prove to you guys that I can draw I, I'm not an uber expert that is my logo okay guys stop tripping that is mine I did that what I could do right here too with that make this super dark right here Pull that up, make this super dark on the bottom right here. I have to show where, and then back here is going to be super dark because this is like completely on the opposite side. Boom. Yeah. It takes me a while to actually get the detail that I want when I draw with this. But you can you can see pretty much where I'm going with this. And um I use this eraser to kind of clean up some of those lines right here yeah. clean that up a little bit there you go it's not completed but you have the idea. Yes, I am drawing in Ubuntu. I am drawing in Ubuntu GNOME. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and um you know what? I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save that one. But there you guys go. That is my bamboo CTL four seventy in some places you could get it for 75 bucks I believe you could still get it at that price at tigerdirect.com or Newegg yeah if you want to draw on Linux it, it is definitely possible and I've seen a lot of people with greater skills than mine get a lot of awesome stuff done so if that is your forte trust me you'll enjoy it it's a cheap device but not cheap as in crap it's cheap as in affordable okay so go ahead and get you one and stop playing love your Ubuntu love your Ubuntu love your Linux Mint love whatever you love even you arch guys stop hating 
Shut up. Peace out, people.